usually nothing goes wrong inside the float bowl. It's an elegant and simple system that almost seems to thrive on neglect. In those rare cases where something does go wrong, it's usually one, the float valve that lets the fuel in can be worn or contaminated and then it leaks. Two, the float can develop a leak and it sinks. Three, the float setting or the float level can be wrong. Let's look at each of these and their symptoms. Okay, first of all, a leaky valve, okay? Let's take this and remove the float and let's get the valve out of there again. The end of the needle valve is conical, okay? Now, if it gets chipped or worn or scratched, or if debris gets in and lodges on the side of it, it won't make a good seal inside where it's got to land. When that happens, fuel is allowed to race past it and we wind up flooding inside the bowl. Now, when that's been done, the symptoms, uh, well, first of all, the car runs rich. That's easy to find out. Often you'll see fuel coming out of the bowl's vent right here, and sometimes you can see fuel puddling on the deck inside the carburetor. Problems with the needle and seat, that valve, are the most common problems you're going to see. Okay, a float leak, well, that's easy. Here's the float. If it has a leak in it, it's going to take on fuel and she's going to begin to sink a little bit. It won't come all the way up like it's supposed to and fuel will start racing into the bowl and overflow it. The symptoms are the same as if you have a leaky needle and seat. The last one is the float setting. And that, of course, is the level at which the fuel is maintained inside the float bowl. The float normally does not change its setting on its own. You should never have to worry about this. About the only time the float setting needs attention is when somebody's been in the float bowl working on something. So the symptoms are, it either runs rich or it runs lean and somebody's been in there recently. Our next video, we're actually gonna see how we can service these parts.